New tonight in just hours, phone companies will be mandated to take a big step to cut down on all those nuisance robocalls we are all too familiar with. And you got a couple already tonight. Fox 5's Evan Lambert live in Northwest explaining how this is going to work and what it means for you. This is a problem that I think we all deal with, Evan. Yeah, Jim, it happens to me a lot. It probably happens to a lot of you. So a number pops up on your phone. It may look familiar to you just off so you pick it up, but likely it is unwanted. It possibly could even be a scammer. But starting tomorrow, these kinds of calls, spoofing robo calls, making a number look like another one may be reduced significantly. Now, it doesn't mean they'll go away overnight. Americans have been getting an average of 4 billion robo calls a month this year. A consumer watchdog organization public interest research group says by june 30th the fcc and ftc have mandated that phone companies put caller id verification to use the hope is spoofed calls will be blocked or marked by phone companies making them harder to get to you here's how it works this technology is requiring the phone companies to verify and validate that the phone number that shows up on the caller id is actually genuinely the number where the call is originating from. This is a huge, huge problem. It has been for years. And thank goodness the FCC is finally, finally doing something about it. And it did not take long for us to find people that get these kinds of calls all the time. They were extremely excited about this crackdown. It's almost as if like it's on schedule with my phone. It's really annoying, especially when during work, teleworking and having like random calls and whatnot it can be pretty annoying. So I'm glad that something is being put in place that we can kind of limit these phone calls on. I get a lot of calls on my phone. I don't want <laughs> actually I got a call about five times a day earlier. I feel just annoyed, just frustrated. I'm like, well, why do these people keep on calling me? And the reason that the federal government is cracking down specifically on these spoofing robocalls is that it's easy to fall into a scam to the tune of $10 billion a year. Back to you.